President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. of the Philippines has vowed retaliation in response to recent incidents involving Chinese military forces in disputed waters of the South China Sea, stating that his nation will not be cowed into silence. A social media post published on Thursday claims that during discussions with Philippine defense and national security commanders this week, Marcos issued directives and accepted suggestions. The leader of the Philippines declared that he was in continuous communication with partners and allies, who had pledged support in preserving peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region, while safeguarding our sovereignty, sovereign rights, and jurisdiction. Marcos made a commitment to enact comprehensive countermeasures that would be rational, intentional, and reasonable in response to overt, continuous, and unlawful assaults carried out by Chinese Coast Guard and maritime militia personnel that were coercive, aggressive, perilous, and unlawful. The Philippine supply vessel Uzaima May 4th, accompanied by Coast Guard personnel, encountered an attempted blockade and water cannon assaults on Saturday. The vessel was in the process of transporting provisions and a rotation of Marines to 2nd Thomas Shoal, a strategic location in the Spratly Islands archipelago, where a military outpost is maintained by the U.S. Treaty ally. To stake its claim, the rusted warship Uzaima May 4 was grounded decades ago. The convoy was halted by a marine force consisting of Chinese Coast Guard vessels and paramilitary fishing boats. Footage of the confrontation captured on May 4 shows the Chinese side performing perilous maneuvers and barrage the Uzaima with enormous water columns. The water cannon strike, according to Manila, obliterated the small vessel and injured three Philippine crew members. Tensions were significantly escalated in the South China Sea, where Beijing asserts expansive territorial claims that include reefs and islands within the internationally recognized exclusive economic zones of the Philippines and other neighboring countries less than three weeks ago, due to an equally dramatic supply run. The Philippines asserts that the Chinese claims encroach upon its traditional fishing grounds, which are indispensable for the sustenance of local communities. Marcos declared in a speech, The Philippines seeks no conflict with any nation, especially those that claim to be friends. However, it will not be intimidated into submission, silence, or subservience. The Department of Foreign Affairs of the Philippines failed to respond to a written request for comment at the outset. Chinese Defense Ministry spokesman Wu Qian stated on Thursday at a monthly press briefing, China is fully prepared for any emergency and will resolutely defend its territorial sovereignty, maritime rights, and interests. Wu stated that external forces, most notably the United States, were the primary cause of escalating tensions in the contested waters, with harassment and provocations by Manila constituting the immediate causes. A spokesperson for the United States stated that the country has initiated conflict, supported the Philippines, issued threats and exerted pressure on China, invoking the ostensible bilateral treaty, and dispatched military vessels to the South China Sea to sow discord. He issued the following warning. The Philippines is further straying down a perilous path, and Beijing will not permit the Philippines to act irrationally. In the Philippines, the South China Sea issue is acquiring prominence. Recent surveys conducted in the Philippines indicate that tensions in the South China Sea have emerged as a significant concern for the Filipino people. In a December survey, the majority of respondents supported the use of military force to assert the territorial rights of the Philippines. Recent flashpoints, including the Second Thomas Shoal conflict, have also reignited interest in the United States and the Philippines' seven-decade mutual defense treaty. According to the Pentagon, Military Secretary Lloyd Austin emphasized in a Wednesday call with his Philippine colleague Gilberto Teodoro that the ironclad military commitment extends everywhere in the Pacific, including the South China Sea. The U.S. intervention, according to China, 
is the underlying cause of geopolitical tensions in the South China Sea. The remarks were made by Wu Qian, a spokesperson for the National Defense Ministry, in response to U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's recent inquiry into Beijing's involvement in the waters. Chinese officials assert that the deployment of military warships by the United States into the South China Sea incites conflict, provides support to the Philippines, and creates disruptions. China, according to him, is committed to resolving maritime disputes via consultations and diplomacy, 